Hello, welcome to this uh, short presentation where we are looking at uh, uh, equations that involve indices. Okay, so we want to look at the processes that we are supposed to carry out in order to determine the answers. Okay, so let us look at the first one. How do we solve the first one? Okay, so from uh, let's have it like this. So when you are given something in this form, okay, when you are given an expression in this form, you are supposed to know that this you need to rewrite it as what? X n over m. And then this can also be written in the reverse form. This can also be written in the reverse form. So this is what we are supposed to do. So this expression now, I'm looking at the answers. This we need to rewrite it as 8, then 2x over 3. This is supposed to be equated to what? 1 over 16. I mean 1 over 64. So you are supposed to know that in this case, when the index is what we are looking for, the idea is that we should have a common base. We want to have a common base, and when we get a common base, we are going to equate the indices. So you should be able to know that this part alone here, okay, we are going to rewrite it as here we have 8, 2x over. Then this is going to be 64 minus 1. So this expression is the same. Then from this point, now we are going to go down and say 8, 2x over 3 is equal to what? How do we write this one? This is going to be 8. Uh, okay, 8 squared is 64. I hope you are following. So then the next step from here is um, going to be 8 2x over 3 is equals to is equals to 8 minus 2. Why you multiply this the power rule? Multiply this 2 by a negative 1. And at this point now we need to equate the what? The indices are so going to have 2x over 3 is equals to negative 2. Then 2x is equals to negative 6. Then x is equals to negative 3. This is what is going to be our answer. Okay. So you divide both sides by 2. You should be able to get negative 3. I hope it's very clear on the first one. So let us look at the, the second one. Okay, so let's look at the second one. The process is actually the same. We need to convert this, we write this one. We have 10x is equals to, how do we do this one? This is going to be 1 over 1000, okay? Then we have 10 to the power x over 10 to the power 3, okay? Then we have 10x is equals to, this is going to be 10 to the power minus 3, okay? When you rewrite it, I'm sure you know that uh, while we've got 1 over 2 is the same as uh, 2 to the power negative 1. So at this point, the base is the same. So we can equate the indices. So x is equal to what? Negative 3. So those are the questions. So for the examination council time, you expect such questions in paper 1. You expect such questions in paper 1. I thought we could revise these two questions with you. Thank you so much.